So hey everyone, welcome back to Rebecca's Colouring Arts and Crafts. So I'm just going to do a quick book unboxing of my Illuminocrate box here, which I didn't get to in my book haul in the end. Um, so, <laughs> um, yeah, it took longer than I thought to do it. So by the time I read the descriptions and stuff, so all good, we'll just do it now. So the book unboxing I actually have here is the... Um, Remainder books of the Cruel Prince edition set that Illuminocrate did. Um, I'm not sure, was it last year they did them or whatever? The Illuminocrate Collections edition of the Cruel Prince series. And I have put all the dust jackets on these as well. So we've got um, our editions here. So I will show you them as we go. But yeah, um, got our cool editions here then I just thought I would unbox them I put all of this on because it was kind of awkward with my hand and wrist so I thought better to do that off camera and all of that so I'll just show you them here together these are the Rosie Thorns 88 exclusive dust jackets that came with the Illuminocrate um, Cruel Prince book and so I obviously put all of them on our book editions so it sort of goes over to look like these on the front and back and I really really love them they're amazing and I'm gonna have to watch that I don't accidentally crease these ones too. These were the dust jacket covers that I was putting on the other day and I've nearly creased the inside of these ones as well in spots because <laughs> it's kind of awkward putting a curling cover on the books kind of thing. And I've also put the um, book plate that came with them on this front bit just because of the way the pages to connect as well. So, um, these are our exclusive editions of A Cruel Prince by Holly Black um, from Illuminocrate. And I really do love these editions. And obviously it has a signed book plate. And it's a limited edition with Illuminocrate. We've got our map, book one, prologue. Yeah, I really love how these sort of work together. We've also got sprayed green sprayed edges on our Cruel Prince edition. The next edition we've got here is um, The Wicked King. I'm pretty certain this is book two. If I've got this wrong, just correct me. All good, but as you'll see, this one's still very much curled because I only put this on the other night. I almost creased this one too like um just what happened with girls of storm and shadow but it's also signed and i put it in the same spot as the other one even though it doesn't have the the paper sort of i guess the back um with this one how you how you see it here this bit was attached further to this one so it moved with this one which is why i didn't put the book plate on this page originally in the first book and i kind of actually like it on this front area anyway so it works but this is our edition of the wicked king by holly black so pretty and we've obviously got our rosy thorns dust jacket again book one so the artwork does change a bit in it um, depending on the book so I'm guessing this one's sort of ocean based or something and I'm trying to put it down without creasing the corner edges till it flattens because well yeah I just had experience with that one it's also orange sprayed edges as you'll see so pretty and then our final book here is um, The Queen of Nothing. And 
Our Illumina Kate edition underneath is actually um, red, gold and black. Which is interesting and pretty. And yeah, you'll see there. See, that's what I mean by it's still very curly because I've only just sort of put them on last night. So it takes a while for them to flatten and not be so curly. They might not even flatten properly. Who knows? But yeah. And I've put our signed book plate in the same spot. Okay, title page. Our map. One. The artwork does change per thing. And it also, this um, edition actually has sprayed edges too and black sprayed edges so together um i hope i haven't creased that thing um together with the sprayed edges it's green orange and black and i noticed the books do tend to get skinnier towards the last two um with our dust jacket covers this is what they look like all together i'm not going to try taking the dust jackets off just because it is awkward getting them on and off because they still do curl but yeah I feel very lucky to have these um I really feel they look so good together with their exclusive artwork and stuff like that and yeah I really hope you've enjoyed this um bit of an unboxing anyway I just thought I would do this separate because I ran out of time before and yeah, if you've enjoyed this, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. I always love hearing from you and I will see you later. Bye.